Did you hear about Edgar Kennedy? I was just talking to Joe, and Joe says he's dying. Yeah, just had a fierce heart attack. What? Joe's got it all wrong. Kennedy's gonna have a heart attack, but uh, not till 7.30 tonight. Well, why the delay? Now, listen, he's waiting for a telegram. Yeah, and I'm faking one that he's broke. And when he gets it, he's gonna have a fake heart attack. Yeah, I get it. What's the answer? If Kennedy's broke and has a heart attack and can't work, then somebody's got to go to work, don't they? Or else they don't eat. Now, who goes to work? Yeah, who goes to work? Kennedy's brother-in-law, don't you get it? <laughs> that guy's been living off of Kennedy for years. <laughs> very good, very good. Can you see that, family? <laughs> That's it. Kennedy will be out tonight. Oh, Florence, you just go crazy about it. I love the neckline. What's Here are your stopovers. Chester, Deer Creek, and Lake Alamore. Yeah, I wish I was going. Yeah, yeah. it's too bad, Ed. Bless his heart. <laughs> oh, Edgar. You've been just wonderful. Giving up your vacation so that brother and I might spend the summer in the mountains. Gee, it's nice, Ed. Yeah, I sure appreciate it. I love you for it, Edgar. After all, I don't need a vacation. But brother, this poor guy, hasn't worked in four years. And anyone that hasn't worked in four years, they need to relax. You're right, Ed. You know, for the past two years, I've been bored to death. I'll bet you have. Yeah. Don't think I missed your sarcasm, Edgar Kennedy. I know just exactly what you meant. Brother, pick up your fishing things. And Florence, when my writing habit comes, Send it back. Oh, Ma, you're too sensitive. I may be sensitive, but we're not going to take our vacation on Edgar Kennedy's money, and that is final. Oh, oh that must be my writing habit. Oh, oh Edgar, uh, it's coming out COD, just $39.86. Uh, you, you have to change habits. Uh, Telegram for Ed Kennedy. Oh, no, no, Oh, Let me see it, Never mind, I'll open it. Maybe it's from the fishing line. Come again. It's too exciting about telegram. Hurry up, Edgar. Who's it from? What's it all about? I'm so excited. Oh, it can't be. I tell you, it can't be. I don't believe it. No, what's the matter, Ed? Oh, my heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart! Oh, what's the matter? 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 Oh, what's the Oh, Florence! Florence! Are you calling the doctor? Oh, oh, you would have a heart attack if we wanted to go anyplace. Please come quick. Mother, I got the doctor. He'll be right over. Oh, Mother, that's the he'd be right over, but I thought I'd better put some water on it. Just... Oh, oh, more water, Mother! <laughs> uh, mm, it's the perfect crime. Telegram arrived at the perfect moment. I fainted perfectly. <laughs> the doctor arrived when he should, said exactly what he should. And the family fell for it, hooked, lying and sinker, just as I had planned. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going back to work, Mr. Kennedy? Oh, my vacation isn't up for another week yet. Why? Well, in the event that your brother-in-law doesn't get a job by that time. Oh, I see. Then you'll take a couple of extra weeks off till he does. Mm-mm. Won't -mm. take any chance on jeopardizing my job. I'm very happy there. I've been with that firm for 15 years. Right now, I'm due for a great big promotion. Seems kind of silly to me. It does seem silly on the surface. But this is all part of a carefully laid out plan. See, that heart failure business, that was just only one part of it to put the idea of work into brother's mind. The rest of it's... Up to me. Just how am I going to explain all this to my friends? Oh, well, Mother, don't act like that. Edgar didn't know I was going to have a heart attack. And what about the clothes? What 
we go to use for money? I'd like to know. Don't worry about it. I'm sure Mr. Misley will listen to reason. I hope so. Pardon me. Oh, listen, if it isn't heart failure or something else, if the guy couldn't support the family, what did you marry him for in the first place? My brother, you shouldn't take that attitude. Unless... How do you stand there? Unless... Oh. Mr. Midgley will be with you in just a moment, Mrs. Kennedy. Thank you. Mr. Midgley, uh, I don't want you to think I'm criticizing my husband because I'm not really, but I must admit that Brother is a little bit more intelligent. You see, Brother has a finer background than Edgar had. Oh, I know Edgar's done awfully well for a self-made man, but, well, he can't do that anymore. I'm afraid, Mrs. Kennedy, that there isn't any use you're talking. Edgar was particularly adapted to ladies' lingerie. But granting that your brother here has all these possibilities, it's a question. Then I don't quite understand. If your brother-in-law doesn't get a job this week, then you've gone to all that trouble for nothing, haven't you? You seem like the type of girl who would understand. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. For the past year, I've been studying a book written by an Indian in Bombay on the power of will. The idea of the book is you can do what you will to do by concentrating on what you want done. Oh, sort of mental telepathy? Oh, no, no. It's a much deeper study than that. You see, mental telepathy is purely mutual animal vibration. What? In this study, the mind dissolves by concentration mind matter, leaving a pure blue-white light of power unblemished. Oh. Uh, you see, when you start concentrating, you... Concentrate intensely on nothing. But, Mr. Kennedy, how can you concentrate on nothing? <laughs> well, it is difficult for most people, but it came quite naturally to me. Brother, get a job. Mr. Kennedy, are you all right? Shh. Quiet, quiet. Brother, get a job. Brother, get a job. Brother, get a job. Oh, Mr. Misley, if you'd only give Brother Edgar's job, I'm sure you wouldn't be sorry, please. Please, Mr. Misley, for... Edgar's sake. Well, I will admit, Mrs. Kennedy, you have completely sold me on brother's ability. <laughs> now, uh... But I cannot possibly consider him for the position. Oh, I know just exactly how you feel, Mr. Midgley. And we've taken up a great deal of your time. But uh, could I see you alone for just a moment? Oh, why, of course. Oh, I... thank you. Hey, come, brother. Uh, come, boys, dear. Come on, brother, dear. Well, well, goodbye, Mr. Midgley. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, remember me to Eddie. Yes, you? Uh, thank you. Wait for me outside, will you? Well, of course. You don't remember me, do you, William? Well, I... I don't recall of ever having the pleasure of meeting you before. That is, that I remember. Are you sure you don't remember me, Willie? No, I, I can't say that I do. I remember the Emily Masquerade Ball. Uh -oh. 
Just begin. Um... Brother, get a job. Brother, get a job. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, even if Kennedy should get well, he, he's getting too old for the job. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, 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 Miss Smith, Miss Smith, starting as of today, Mr. Kennedy's brother-in-law goes on the payroll uh, in Kennedy's place at $50 a week. And, Miss Smith, take any messages that might come. I don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> now what are we talking about? Oh, let's talk about you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kennedy! Mr. Kennedy! Oh! Wake up! Mr. Kennedy! Wake up! Oh, Mr. Kennedy, please wake up! Oh! Oh! Get a job. Wait! Oh! Oh, are you all right? Oh. Oh, Miss Jones. Thank you for waking me up. I almost went too far that time. I got into the spirit world and I couldn't get back. Oh, I was so oh. frightened. But you know, Miss Jones, I have a conviction that my brother-in-law has a job. Right this minute. Oh! I'll answer the phone. Hello? Uh, yes, uh, just a moment. Uh, it's for you, Mr. Kennedy. Hello? Eddie, darling. <laughs> uh, I have some most wonderful news for you, and I'm so excited. Uh, wait just a minute, dear. Brother, now you must be very careful when we get home to be sure not let Edgar know that you have his job. At least for six months. Why, his heart would never stand it. Eddie? <laughs> oh, Edgar, all of our troubles are over. And it all happened so quick, too. <laughs> what do you think? Brother's got a job. As the head salesman. He's leaving for Chicago in an hour. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yes, Mother's going, too. Isn't it too wonderful? <laughs> oh, now, don't get too excited, darling. We'll be right home. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> it worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! I tell you, Brother's got a job! Brother's... <laughs> 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 You know, I never believed in this willpower sort of thing before. But I'm beginning to think there's something to it. If you'll study that book and have faith, there's nothing impossible. But you have to concentrate. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, now be oh. careful. Goodbye, Goodbye, Mother. Bye, Ed. Uh, brother, oh, uh, never mind uh, sending me that money. The Florence and I, we get along all right. I'll just call up the lodge. Yeah. Oh, just want to make good. Huh? Oh, oh, right. Well, well you know, right. Mr. Well, Mr. Right. Goodbye, brother. Don't get excited. I'm not worried about you. Goodbye. Take care of everything. Edgar, why in the world did you tell brother not to send us any money? What'll we live on with you sick and out of work? <laughs> Florence, you just don't understand. It's been four years since your darling mother and Brother came to live with us and mooch on us. Now they're gone. And if I have my way about it, they're never going to come back anymore! No, Edgar, remember your heart! Edgar, look out your heart! Now, listen, darling, there's nothing wrong with my heart. They forced me to do it. I played sick just to make Brother get a job, and he got it. Florence, darling, stop crying. Stop crying now. I didn't mean to lie to you. Oh, Edgar, I don't mind your lying to me. It's just that I didn't know you were lying. You see, I, I went to Mr. Midgley and I, I pleaded with him to give brother your job. And he did. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Darling, don't you worry. As soon as brother gets back from Chicago, I'll speak to him, and maybe he can do something for you. Oh, 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 oh,